Hello everyone, I made a vignette shader for Unreal Engine, and you can too. I'm, I'm so sorry about the quality. So a shader is a piece of code which runs on every pixel on the screen after rendering. Before we start, vignette is spelt V-I-G-N-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. I prefer to spell it V-I-N-Y-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. uh, there's many reasons for this. Um, one of them is that I always forget how to spell it. First, we're going to start off by creating a new material. This material will be a master material and will be used as a post-process material. So I'm going to call it M underscore PP underscore vignette. Inside the material, I'm going to click on the result node and change its material domain to post-process. Next, add a screen position and screen texture node. The screen position is the UV coordinate of the current pixel and the screen texture node is the color of the current pixel. Change the scene textures texture ID to be post process input zero. Next, we will press and hold S and left click to create a scalar parameter. Name this parameter vignette strength and set its default value to 1.95. This value worked for me. I found it after experimenting with the finish shader. A different value may also work for you. Now create another scalar parameter and call it vignette zoom. Set its default value to minus 0.59. Again, this value was found through experimenting. Now, right click to add a custom node. This allows us to run HLSL code. The output type will be a float4 and add a description. I used add vignette. Next, we're going to setting up the inputs to this shader. Click the arrow to the left of the inputs array and add four inputs. The first input is going to be called pixel position. The next will be called pixel color. And the last two are going to be called vignette strength and vignette zoom. Hook everything up and we're ready to start writing our HLSL code. My implementation of the shader has five steps. First, we'll cover steps one, two, and five, and then go back to steps three and four after that. Step one is to create a vector which starts at the center of the screen and ends at the current pixel. I'm going to store the result of, in a variable named vector from center, and we'll calculate this vector by minusing 0.5 from the current pixel position. And by the way, just make sure that these variable names in the material graph match the variable names in the HLSL code. Next, we'll find the magnitude length of the vector and store it in a variable. Finally, we'll make a float4 called modified color and set it to be the current pixel color multiplied by the magnitude from the center and return the modified color. This will create a reverse vignette shader so we can change the code so that the current color is multiplied by one minus the magnitude. Time for steps three and four. Uh, this is about making the shader more flexible. Add this line of code to give us control of the strength of the vignette and this line of code to allow us to zoom in and out of the vignette. Now the code is all done, we just need to add the shader to the post-process volume. Right click the material and click create material instance. I'm going to call it mi underscore pp underscore vignette. Then I'm going to drag a post-process volume into my scene. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to make it infinite extent. Next, in the post-process volume under rendering features uh, and in array, I'm going to add a new element and click choose an asset reference and finally drag in your post-process material and you're done. You should be able to see the shader immediately take effect. You can open the material instance and change the parameters you set up to change the shader. After a bit of playing around, I'm able to get a result I'm happy with, especially considering how simple this is to do. Thanks for watching and goodbye.